Doctors, what's the creepiest thing you've encountered while on the job? The creepiest thing happened with a resident named Nancy. Nancy had very advanced Alzheimer's, to the point where we had not heard her say a word beyond incoherent mumbling for 10 months. Every day, she would just pace the halls until it was time for bed. We would commonly try to walk with her and talk to her to keep her stimulated, but she would hardly ever even look at us. Just pace. Nancy had a husband that also lived in the community. This home had a section for dementia separate from a normal assisted living facility. Her husband, whom I will call Wayne, lived in the other section. He would visit his wife every day, until he himself became so sick that he was confined to his room. When this happened, we started to grow worried. Even though it sometimes doesn't seem like it, frequent visitors make a big difference to even our most advanced cases. Nancy and Wayne had been married for over 60 years. It was undoubtedly that even through her disease, Nancy still received some comfort through Wayne's daily visits. I suppose we need not have worried. Wayne died early one morning. We have a policy that prohibits bringing negative energy where it would not do any good, so Nancy was not told of Wayne's death. Later that day though, during her usual pacing, Nancy stopped. She stared into the upper corner of the room for several minutes and then all of a sudden started screaming. Now this isn't as alarming as it may seem. There are a lot of screams happening all the time in dementia units. But it made all the staff come around to see what was wrong. She abruptly stopped screaming, and I swear she started repeating her husband's name. Wayne 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 over and over again. Keep in mind she had not said the smallest word in almost a year. I go up to her, touch her on the arm, and ask her gently if everything is okay. Nancy looks straight at me, which was also very abnormal for her, and says he's bothering me tell him to leave me alone, then goes back to staring into the upper corner of the room. Half of the staff just noped right out of there, while the rest of us tried to get her distracted by giving her a snack and a different activity. From that day on, she started talking again. Not anything lengthy, but she would occasionally start trying to talk either to us or herself. Many times she referenced someone she called grandpa and started speaking to him in an otherwise empty room. While this isn't an uncommon thing for our residents to do, the fact that it did not start until that incident the day her husband died did, and still does, seriously give me the creeps.